After creating the theoretical profiles, the next step is to create the theoretical sections. Double click on theoretical sections to open the editor. Firstly, right click anywhere in the editor and choose settings. Here you will need to choose the appropriate stationing mode for your project. The two options are Heading Stationing and 3D Tunnel Meter. Heading Stationing is the stationing value as derived from the horizontal alignment, whereas 3D Tunnel Meter is the stationing value derived from the vertical alignment. This figure illustrates the concept. Notice that the 3D Tunnel Meter values in red are different to the Heading Stationing values in black. I will go ahead and leave the stationing mode at Heading Stationing. As with the theoretical profiles, we can import theoretical sections from a file or we can create them directly in the editor. I will go ahead and manually create the first section by hitting Add. In Amberg Tunnel, under Section Type, you can choose to have a constant theoretical section or an interpolated section. A constant theoretical section will occur when the starting and ending profiles are the same type. If your design has a different starting and ending profile for a given section, you should choose interpolation between the profiles. When you choose this section type, you need to specify the starting and ending profiles. Depending on how similar or dissimilar the profiles are, the interpolation method chosen by Amberg Tunnel will vary. The software will first attempt to perform a linear interpolation as this is the preferred method and produces natural results. For linear interpolation, it is important that the profile have the same number of segments. You also must ensure that the starting segment matches between both profile sets and the order or sequence of the profile segments match. For my first section, I will choose a constant theoretical profile type and I will set this start heading stationing to minus 300 and the end heading stationing to minus 250. For the profile, I will choose excavation type 1. At this point, we can already start to see what the tunnel is looking like in 3D view. Click on the 3D tab to view the results of the first segment. A useful tool here is to click on axis point and then attach a camera to the axis. Then using the slider you can navigate through this tunnel scene following the alignment. I will return to the 2D view and define the next section. For this section I will choose interpolation as the method. The star heading is derived from the end heading of the previous section. I will go ahead and choose the end heading stationing to minus 249. I will put the excavation type 1 as the start profile and for the end profile I will choose excavation type 2. To save time I will pause the video now and complete the rest of the fields. Now that I am finished with the theoretical sections I will go ahead and save the project. At this point I can return to the 3D view to view the results. A useful validation option at this point is to right click in the 3D editor and choose export design points. This will allow you to export the design as a 3D point cloud which you can then validate outside of Amberg Tunnel. We are now finished with the theoretical sections for this particular construction stage.